Hey guys, welcome back for more Dragon Quest 11. So let's continue. Come on. Ah, uh, we finished a rab story last time, right? So I think it's over. Yeah, because there was no more, uh, what do you call this, titles. When we start. Yeah, like this. I think we're back with Queen Marina. His friends still live. His friends still fight. Their cause is not forlorn. The night is dark and dreadful, but we may yet see the dawn. Though Erdria is racked with darkness, suffering, and pain, the Luminary's light can shine upon this land again. Okay. <laughs> Where am I, by the way? It's been a couple episodes. A shark was watching me. Hey, the thing is weak. Oh. Dude, we were the luminary. Now you're a fish? What happened? I don't have the power anymore. Oh, but maybe I can talk to the... Okay, let me try. <laughs> oh, you're awake! You're alert! You're alive! Your breath was getting shorter, you couldn't breathe the water, but look at you now! It's an unequivocal miracle! Queen Marina! <laughs> no, we can go to the shop now, right? Because when we were talking to the shark last time... We couldn't, uh, buy anything. Okay, I'm just a fish right now. Okay, let me check the shop. Is it up? No. Wait, how do we get there? Yeah, this place seems to be bigger. Or maybe because I'm just a fish right now. Okay, let's check this. Hello, sir. What? Okay, now we can't buy anything, so what is the point of this? Maybe later. Maybe later I can understand the fish. Or the shark, even though I'm human. Well, I can actually float up now, right? Last time we needed the help of the mermaid. Can you up on my own? You say our guest has finally recovered from his wounds? Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, and soon. Majesty. Don't fear for me. I'm not done yet. Until my work is finished, I'll find the strength to carry on. I shall not be diminished. Yes. Oh, she has bars. Wait, no. Uh, ah. ah, there you are, old friend. <laughs> Or should I say, new fish? You make a finer flounder than I'd ever dared to wish. <laughs> when first my subjects brought you here, it gave me such a shock. To see you bruised and broken like a ship wrecked on the rocks. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. 
the sea swarms with his spies. I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. Many troubled months have come and gone since your arrival. As you slept, my healers strove to safeguard your survival. You cannot know how glad I am to see you fully healed. But soon the spell will fade, and you must once more take the field. I have a plan to see you safe. That's all I've ever wished. If all goes well, you'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions. I can see it in your eyes. I saw you battle bravely by the World Tree's holy heart. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. saw you strive to fell the fiend, and how your plans were vexed. When you are ready, follow me to see what happened next. Damn rhyming, man. It's just too funny to me. <laughs> Queen's private chamber. Mm. Do we have auto swim? Oh, we have auto run. Nice. Look at the space of her private room. An eons passed since last I brought a human to this cave. It is the private parlor of the queen beneath the waves. Behold the Pearl of Wisdom, jewel of we the ocean's daughters. It lets its bearer view the world through any drop of water. I've summoned up a thunderstorm to saturate the ground. Now, let's ascend into the rain and take a look around. Whenever you are ready, touch your fin against the pearl, and you shall see what's come to pass there in your airy world. Okay, let me check it out. Where are my friends? Yes, where are my other friends? The twins, where are they? Is that a tree? The once fair land of Adria is now a ravaged shell. When Mordigan destroyed its heart, the holy world tree fell. Upon its fall, the world was with a searing storm despoiled. Trees and grasses burned to ashes, lakes and rivers boiled. Burning boulders fell to earth and pulverized the land. Mountains cracked, and realms were racked at his unholy hand. In one fell swoop, the Lord of Shadows ended countless lives. The lucky few who rode the storm out struggled to survive. Their days are filled with desperation, misery and tears. I see them quake and tremble. But I cannot calm their fears. Is this cobblestone? Please help! So 
Please, help me. It did look like Hendrik though. The the hair, yeah, I saw the hair a little bit in the end. That's Hendrik, probably. Our homes are gone. Our families and friends too. All we have left is our lives. We can't just sit down and die. We have to keep walking. We have to keep following the hero. They say he's built a fortress south of Heliodor. If we can make our way there, we'll be safe. <sighs> hmm. See, he was Hendrik. Don't give up, okay? This hero guy won't let us down. Once we get to the last bastion, everything will be fine. You'll see. A few more short steps lead from darkness into dawn. Safe haven awaits. <sighs> <sighs> Amid the black depths of despair, a spark of light still shines. A man who gives the people hope in these benighted times. Yet that light too shall soon succumb to evil's ceaseless claim. Only you can take that spark and kindle it to flame. Yggdrasil has crashed to earth. Her light has disappeared. In her place, the Lord of Shadows, Citadel of Fear. He took the sacred world tree's power and now makes it his own. Foul Mordigan commands the world from his unholy throne. His forces seek to steal the souls of every last survivor. His flying servants sweep the skies. The seas swarm with his divers. Oh, there was a big thing attacking the mermaid uh, place. <sighs> Alizarin, the fiend that seeks to devastate my nation. Another one of Mordigan's detestable creations. I've cast a spell to hold him back, but need it to be stronger. The barrier's at breaking point and cannot last much longer. I'd hoped that I could save my realm. It was a foolish notion. Compared to his, my strength is but a raindrop in the ocean. Ere long, the barrier will fall and Nautica will too. Marauding beasts may take my life, but they shall not take you. Our time grows short. I fear my kingdom's race is nearly run. My place is with my subjects now. We face our fate as one. Hey, are we gonna fight the big thing? I mean, probably not right now because we don't have our teammates, right? But maybe we're gonna fight that thing in the future? I wanna fight it though. Like, you see how big that thing was? It was uh, punching the barrier? Let's hope so. I don't want to play more underwater. Yes. Can you get out from here? Okay, uh, where is she? There. How curious you are, my friend. I showed you fearful sights. 
and yet those wide and watery eyes still gleam with limpid light. It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. And yet you've weathered every blow, prevailed against all strife. You've brushed with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. It is the will of Yggdrasil that you are still alive. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive. Bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. Find the fading sparks of hope and kindle them to flame. You'll find the sparks I speak of here and there throughout the land. They are the former members of your staunch and stalwart band. The fire within their hearts will light the path that you must tread. Find your friends and bring an end to this dark age of dread. While the Luminary lives, there's hope for people still. You cannot fail. You must prevail. It is the World Tree's will. <laughs> Beware! The barrier shakes and breaks! of Shadow's followers give fond farewell short shrift. I had so much to tell you, but it seems I must be swift. <sighs> Do not lose heart. Do not look back until your time is through. I hope nothing happens to them. Oh no, they're breaking through. Remember, you're the luminary. We believe in you. Dude, they don't have any fighters though. Citizens of Nordica, give your lives to the Lord of Shadows. <laughs> Queen Marina. I hope nothing happens to them. Okay, bite it. <laughs> okay, someone is fishing. Dude, like, look at the sky. It's so dark. So sinister, and you are out here fishing? Oh, Blue John's hooked himself a big one. Could it be the legendary man eating mackerel? Let's reel him in and find out. Yes, I caught something. I actually caught something. Blue John's gonna eat tonight. Maybe there is some good in this forsaken world after all. <laughs> who, who, who the heck are you? I, and what are you doing on the end of my hook? I don't care how hungry you are, you don't go pinching the bait off another man's line. <laughs> hey, now. Don't cry, sonny. <laughs> hmm. 
Blog. I don't know what's got you sniffling, but it must be something serious. So listen, Blue John's gonna help you out. We fisher folk have gotta look after each other, ain't we? You can stay the night in my hut. There's none too many safe places left in this rotten world, but it'll do you for a day or two. When you're ready, you can head over to the last bastion. They'll see you, right? The fella running the place is a bony Fido hero. Right, now that's decided. Let's head for shore. Hold on tight, lad. Things are about to get choppy. <sighs> Look at how huge this guy is compared to my hero. A spark still shines. How much money do we have? 1.2 only? Hmm? Ah, hi there, Sonny. So you finally roused yourself from your slumbers, eh? <laughs> Blue John and say good morning. But there ain't no morning to speak of these days. You hadn't noticed. Why, we've seen nothing but dark sky since the day of the disaster. Just look at the state of it. There was an almighty booming and rumbling, and then great gouts of blackness started billowing up from the castle over in Heliodor. Since then, nothing's been right. That was the last time any of us saw the sun. That ain't good. We better hide, and fast. Ooh, that was a close one. Them monsters started pouring out of Heliodor Castle about the same time as the blackness. The rotters seem to think they own the place. They've never come so near before, though. They'll be looking for food, I'll warrant. And their Blue John was thinking he'd found himself a safe spot. Listen, uh... Seems the vittles round these parts are set to get mighty scarce. I hate to send you packing, Sonny, but I reckon you'd best be on your way. You'll be safer over at the last bastion, anyhow. Go on and get yourself over there before the monsters spot you. That hero feller will look after you, I'm sure. He's a good un, that one. A spark of hope in these dark old times. Steer a course due west until you hit Cobblestone Falls. The last bastion lies just beyond. Mind how you go now, sonny. The last bastion. Okay, what is this? Dude, I have things to do. I can't talk to you. Um, okay, this guy. Cautery sword. He's selling, uh, not bad items. It is bad items, I mean. Okay, we need to go. Cobblestone Falls, Hilidor. He said, what did he say again? A uh, blue John. He hasn't seen the sun since the thing hit, right? But when we were using Silvando, sure it was dark, but we could still see the uh, what do you call this? The sun. We got no horse. No choice but to run. Mm -hmm. 
I hate the darkness like this. I hope it. I wish it was sunny, or basically just dark. The the color is different. Yeah, it's like kind of purple, and the enemies are kind of glowing now. Fresh water. So basically, we're heading home now, right? Yeah, this is the place um, where our grandpa Chalky is said to go, right? Technically, next to Cobblestone. A guard. Head south to the last bastion. Is that Sandy? It's been a long time since I've seen the Sandy. Sandy. What are you doing here? Where's my mom and uh, Gemma? This place has become a fortress now. Sandy, there you are. And where did you run off to, might I ask? It's not quite the cobblestone we grew up in, is it? No, we've been through a lot. After you left, this terrible man named Jasper came. I... I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He... he rounded us all up in the center of the village, and then he ordered his men to kill us. But we were lucky. Not everyone is as cruel as Jasper. No, another soldier came and told him to stop. He said there was no need to take our lives. But that didn't stop them burning the village to the ground and locking us all up in the castle. Still, that one good man made sure we came to no harm. Sorry, Sandy, you're right. He just got home after a long journey. He doesn't want to hear me blathering on. Come on, let's go and see the one person who'll be even happier to see you than me. My mom. Oh, okay, there is armory here. Cypress stick? <laughs> it's just two-handed sword, right? Magic shield. Yeah, why are the weapons here bad though? Yeah, it's kind of bad. Where do we go? Follow Gemma. Where's Gemma? Where did she go? Oh no. 
Okay, there she is. There she is. Yeah, look at the upgrades the village has. Come on, girls. Put your backs into it. The boys are out there doing the fighting, so it's up to us to keep the home fires burning. Sorry to interrupt, Amber, but uh, I've got big news. Hello, Gemma, love. What's got you so excited, hmm? Well, you're not going to believe this, but there's someone very special here to see you. <gasps> My little soldier. I, I just can't believe it's you. After all the awful things that happened, I was sure you were... Sure you were... Oh. When the disaster struck, so many people lost their lives. The sun vanished, and those terrible monsters appeared all over the place. Even those of us who were lucky enough to survive were so drained and desperate that... We almost lost the will to live. And then the hero appeared just when we needed him. He did all he could to help people, no matter who they were or where they were from. He fought off the monsters and brought everyone here to safety. Without him, I dread to think what would have become of us. And now, thanks to him, the place you once knew as Cobblestone has become the last bastion, humanity's safe haven in a world beset by darkness. Would you believe we've even got the King of Heliodor camped out here? <laughs> Look, I know he was the one who ordered the village to be burned, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Things aren't always as they seem, love. He may be the last person you want to see, but you should go and talk things through with the king. Your grandfather would have wanted you to at least try. Just pop your head round the door of his tent, will you, love? For me, it's the one in the middle of the camp with the two flags. And be polite. I mean, he's got to be better now. Yeah. Like, it was more to go on last time. Oh, it's a bank. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I want to get there. Anything here? Grubby bandage. <laughs> Where's this tent? What? I thought the tent was here. This one? Okay, though, this is not the tent. The tent is probably there. Hey, you also got a puff puff girl? Very nice. This one, I guess. No, it's not. This guy, this guy seems, oh, looks familiar. Okay, the church. Okay, I know his majesty wants to speak to me, but where is this majesty? <laughs> Oh, 
This one? Okay. Okay, there he is. Let me check this side first. Oh, there's a chest there. I want to get that. Give me a nice weapon. Yeah, at least a nice weapon. Special meds. And well, I see. You have nothing to fear. I have regained my senses at last. The living nightmare that began for me on the day of your birth has ended. Though in truth, I remember little of what I did. I have inflicted so much pain on so many. On you. I do not ask for forgiveness. I do not deserve it. All I ask is that I be allowed to atone. To pay for my crimes by protecting those who remain. Tell me. Do you recall what happened on that fateful day? The events that came to pass beneath Yggdrasil's branches? I do, I do. I see. I recall nothing. All I know is that whomever or whatever had me in its grasp for all those years left me there. And when at long last I returned to my senses, I was here. There is something else I must ask you. Tell me, do you know if my daughter is alive. What? Hendrik didn't tell you yet? I see. <laughs> Your Majesty. The hero has returned. He brings more survivors seeking sanctuary. Come. You must meet he to whom we owe our survival. Though you may not wish to at first. Do we meet him here? In okay, north to the entrance. Welcome back, Hendrik. Well, 
What news? The forces of darkness amass at the gates of Heliodor. They will strike, and soon. Sire, the people must be removed to safety. Men! All the signs are that our enemy will strike tonight. To arms! They shall not find us unprepared! As you see, he is as eloquent as ever. But you must forgive him. He has fought harder than any of us. He has sacrificed more than anyone. Which is why his burden must be lightened. It is time that your differences were set aside, Luminary. Mankind needs you. Hendrik needs you. Will you stand beside him? I want to see if I say no. No. I can well understand the ill will you feel. But there is no <laughs> other save yourself. It is time that your differences were set aside, Luke. Good. <laughs> if we are able to withstand the assault tonight, we may yet survive. Join the troops outside the fortress when you are ready. What is the point of choices? Because, yeah, it's basically you're just going to have to say yes no matter what. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, what items do I have? Superior medicine, a transfer. Lunaria. Oh yeah, I got to see the skill though. Magical me seed of sorcery, a life. Uh, I'm gonna save my seeds for now. Everything. I missed the uh, place, right? Head outside the last bastion when you're ready. Okay, they're here. recruit they say you made it all the way to the last bastion under your own steam well I'm impressed I've got to tell you you can obviously handle yourself there or you were born lucky well either way I'm sure we can find a use for you follow me Right, here's your spot. Just face that way, and when the monsters come, stick the pointy end of your sword in them. <laughs> oh, don't look so worried. You'll be fine. Forces, here they come. Here we go. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> Actual, uh, we call this cutscene. <laughs> it's the slowest war ever. Look at this. Positions, man.
Okay, just gotta help the other soldiers. Wait, two attacks? Oh my god. Okay, do we have a skill that attacks everyone? Unbridled blade. Cutting edge. One more. <laughs> okay, do we have a healer here? There's no healer. Yeah, I need to talk to this guy. Decelerate. guys you're too stunned to move okay nothing else here. I don't know here here, here. I think we need to heal medicine, okay. MP this one. If we are to escape this one, have at them! Headless Horseman? <laughs> Our beloved commander, rightous and best of the Spectral Sentinels, spake truly when speak of thee, Hendrik. Thou art without a shred of guile. Any other would have fled the field long ago. But I have no complaint. Our reward for tearing thee limb from limb shall be a handsome one indeed. <laughs> well, 
fools! Wherefore gapest ye like ninnies? Kill him! Prepare to die! He got a lot of homies with him. You can only do one damage at a time. Or one enemy only. Up. Three hundred fifty one. Yeah, he died. That was it. <laughs> he was useless. Commander, a message from His Majesty. He wishes to speak with you. Both of you. Right away. I mean, we won. Yes, we did it. But I think we were over leveled. I think I over leveled myself. I mean, that was easy. I mean, I suppose because I mean, that was a boss technically, but yeah, we don't have our other team members. Maybe that's why it was easy. Just like how easy the bosses were on the character stories on the other episodes, except for Rab. Yeah, his character story, uh, Grandmaster Pong, Pong, right? Yeah, she was kind of hard. She was the hardest one of, uh, the bosses in the character stories. Wait, where is it again? Here, right here. Mom, I survived. Yeah, the other bosses were a pushover. Especially in the Jade one, yeah. Liter literally nothing. It seems we owe you both a debt of gratitude. You have proven your strength and your ability to work together. It is time. Time to bring light back to this benighted land. The fiend that usurped my throne must be ousted. Heliodor Castle must be reclaimed. And you, my loyal servants, must lead the charge. But... but sire... I do not give these orders lightly, Hendrik. My spies have found a means by which we might gain an advantage. The city's sewers can be entered from the cliffs in the side of the hill atop which Heliodor stands. You will use these sewers to infiltrate the castle from beneath. This key will unlock the gate. But sire, who will command our forces in my absence? If the enemy renews the attack, we will be slaughtered. We will not. We will be prepared. Prepared to draw them out, leaving the castle unguarded. The usurper must be overthrown while we have the chance. 
We strike now, or we never see the light of day again. Please, Your Majesty. We cannot allow yet more lives to be lost. Precisely! Which is why you must quell the darkness at its source. We seize our one opportunity, or we consign ourselves to despair. It is as simple as that. <coughs> or do you question the wisdom of your king? My subjects have shown me the depth of their courage. I trust in their ability to endure this one last assault. And I order you to do likewise. <laughs> you are our that? last hope. Do not let us down. An all too brief rest. Head through the mangle grove to the hilly Doran foothills. Where are we? So far away. Okay, let me just reach this. Before we end, okay, so yeah, I will end our episode there for today. So we're back with a luminary, our hero, our protagonist. We're back with him now, but yes, uh, no allies for now, it's only just Hendrik, and we're gonna head to Heliodor in the next one. Hopefully we go back to the ocean again. I want to fight that huge thing. Yeah, the Leviathan thingy. And help uh, Queen Marina, right? So yeah, I'll just see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.